Bye from Uda. Paradox, thanks for coming to Malaysia. We'll see you soon, very soon. Yeah, man. <laughs> and now you have to ride off into the sunset, you see. <laughs> Customs officials are under the impression that Grand Little Paradox don't get enough exercise. And for that purpose, we've been coming on and off buses, fucking like five different fucking buses. I want to jump. Now you have another fucking security check. Hey, dude, let's go. Where are we? The station. Second person. How are you? This, this boy used to be in a band called IBC. Uh, yeah, I remember. Indocised by class, but mistaken for influenced by Christ. Influenced by Christ. Remember That's that boy? <laughs> He's, he seems so 55 years older than the last man. <laughs> oh, uh, you know That's what this is? It's a result of this. <laughs> yeah, and that's the ball thing. Right here, man. <laughs> Phil Collins. Phil Collins. <laughs> <laughs> A <laughs> little bit like Bruce Willis. A little bit like White Gandhi. That dude, Billy Corgan. I don't know about Billy Corgan, man. Some dude came to me and said, Hello, Billy Corgan. You? And then kissed me. I'm Obviously, I'm smashing okay, I'm man. For real, man. Hi. So, Shai, tell us a little bit about uh, the supermarket we're at. We are at Mustafa Center. There's three buildings, five stories high, uh, full of everything that you need. It's pretty punk rock, really. Singapore, on the hunt for super glue in the largest store ever. <laughs> and in order to find the super glue, where do we have to go? Oh, obviously, just the super glue aisle <laughs> to see the wide display of super glue. And you can get pretty much My anything. Be sellies. Okay, Sticks is thinking sellies. I'm thinking Altico right here. Altico. This is it's our nice. Dubai favorite, Altico. Bostic. New formula. Bostic. The maker's a Bostic glue gun. Wait, what do you reckon, man? Me? Yeah. I go for Altico. Altico. Oh, it looks like it's a... That's, that's a win, man. Yeah, it's a win-win. All right, here we go. Altico it is. <laughs> So it's a conclusion, fuck carrot cake. Living like a king in International Airport of Singapore Budget Terminal. It's hard at work. I mean, don't read my text <laughs> Just texting shy for I'm not reading your text message. Everyone on YouTube is reading your text message. Um, tell me about your music. T tell me Good. about your uh, mixture of influences and how you... What I bring to the band. Some kind of bullshit like that. I bring the bass and a lead. You know, you know what it's like. It's like rain on your wedding day. Is it on your wedding day or your wedding cake? Because that would be <laughs> even worse. Like, can you imagine? Here's your wedding cake. It's like, oh man, it was so delicious. You know, it's like three stories. You know, I'm so happy, and then boom, rain. Rain on your wedding cake. Yeah. Because then you'd be like, man, I love cake. And then, and then, and then you're like, it does rain on it, and then you're like, now let's eat it. Oh fuck! There's just a million spoons here, and all you need is a knife to cut the cake. <laughs> you're only allowed to smoke in yellow boxes in Singapore, you see. So this is the clear smoking area. Okay, so wait, 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 so you wait, take wait, it off. Wait. Check it out. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we, we, being upstanding citizens, the three members of Grand Hotel Paradox 2011 Southeast Asia Tour have been entrusted with the with emergency exit. Who yeah. said we? The lady said, are you willing to help? I said, no. Somewhere on here it says you must read it by law. Yeah, but then you've already started reading it, so it's like... I've read it. They've already got you. Never have you hooked. I've read it. I'm not going to jail. So, so what do we do, Sticks? Run, run, I mean, this is Mike. Run, run a stick. <laughs> so look, uh, basically, I'm following these instructions. So what you need to do is you need to take this down. Okay. And then you need to throw it. 
Like you're quite angry. You're like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna throw on the ground. You know why? They got confused because we were punk men. They thought we were hardcore men because they want us to throw down here. In, in Singapore, they take this this step out because okay. you can't live there. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for the Philippines. <laughs> well, like Malaysia. Or then there's a lever inside which you need to take off. Right. Then you, you grab it from the bottom, this bit here, uh, from the leather. You grab it here and up here. <laughs> you remove it, right? Like you're a wrestler about to hit somebody with it. Okay. No, dude, he's a, oh, no, you throw it out. No, he's, a, he's a riot cop, man. He's a riot cop. He's a riot shield. <laughs> he's a riot shield, and then you take the riot shield and you jump out of the window. Of the riot shield. <laughs> and turn into a circle. And then you like battle the riot outside of the plane. <laughs> But do you leave the it's the class war, man. It's everywhere. The class war is everywhere. <laughs> Mabuhai! Alright. Mabuhai. <laughs> Sucked being in a punk band. Not one well wisher. Well, you know. Our lovely um, hostess, lovely love. hostess. Lovely love. love, love the lovely <laughs> hostess. We've got Jet Peligro up there, he's the man, and Mr. Animator Mike, he's on it. Totally drawing, it's got a totally good name. Yeah. Episode 4 of Fear Factor. Fear Factor. <laughs> our newest contestant, Mike Priest, is about to undergo what every Filipino eats regularly every day. I mean, I mean, I mean, what no man has done before. You ready, Mike? Uh, Not really, no. Now, what is this, Mike? Tell us what this is. It's a duck oh, oh, dick fetus. Don't break the table. There's a bit of juice that you can Oh, there's juice as well. That's very exciting. Fetus juice. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. How's that looking for you, Mike? Mike, how you feel? I'm oh, fine, man. You're supposed to drink that juice. juice. Mike, drink the juice. You're supposed to drink the juice. Good there man, you go. The juice is fine, man. It's tasty. Oh, he got a nice... Got a nice cheek. Oh, fuck's sake. It's got, it's a, got face. a face. Oh, it's my God. It's got dude. a face. Let's see. Dude. <laughs> It looks like it's saying, no. I'm not even looking. Ah, the salt? Okay, cool. <laughs> like, you gotta eat it in one go? Uh, in one go? Eat? Fuck a guy. This, really makes gross, you, this makes you like a, a god. No, it just makes me pinoy, man. Drunk. Oh, man. Times like this, I wish I was vegan. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna eat this bit, okay? Alright, let's Put do it. Put some salt. Yeah. Put some salt? Yeah. My hands That's are really salt, dirty. That's the salt, I would suggest. Yeah. 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 Don't look, close your eyes. Yeah, go get a mic. Good job. Alright. That's okay, man. It's not bad. You got you someone on your okay? lips there, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah you just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my question is, is, yeah, it, right. is it finger yeah, looking okay. good? Um, well, I'm not going to leave my fingers. Up. It's okay, actually. It's all right. If what you like... That? Are you going to pick that up? If you pretend it's not a bird... So it's yeah. your turn? Oh. Nope. <laughs> no, no, put it around your neck. Put it around your neck. We have Dia Hassan from uh, <laughs> Juliana Down. We've, we've seen the royal wedding. We've seen quite a few aristocrats here. And now it's time for the arrival of Queen Sheba. There he is. He's, he's a, a Dow merchant. He's come over from Arabia. Some call him Lawrence of Arabia. Some just call him Karim Kayu. <laughs> What are you like, Charlie Sheen? <laughs> How do you feel about this situation? What? You know what? I don't think it finished. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 29 <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What time is it? Well, actually, tomorrow's it's tomorrow is now. Happy birthday. My <laughs> birthday, dear Mike, happy birthday to you. Mike is drunk, Mike is drunk, drunk on a pig baby monkey. Mike is drunk, Mike is drunk, drunk on his birthday baby monkey. Baby monkey. Mike is drunk. Here we are in Manila, first show. It's chucking down rain, has been all day. 
There were fears that the show might be cancelled, but it's supposedly going on. Don't turn it loose, because it's a mother. We're rehearsing some of the choreography for tonight's show. Show us what you got, Mike. That, oh yeah, there you go. We've, uh, we've rented out this uh, um, dance studio so that we can, you know, practice our, our pirouettes. I'm going to show you what's this. Hi, welcome to Grand Hotel Paradox Aerobics. We're going to teach you some moves today. I'm Chris. I'm Mike. Here we go. One more. I two, and two, and go. And then, <laughs> I pull now, and yeah, and I pop and yeah, and shit, and pass a dick. <laughs> and jump and jack again. And two, and three, and five, and six, and seven, stop. What up, man? What up? Hi. Man, not again. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. It's a semi central chocolate solo. Happy birthday to you. Into garlic, into garlic. Here we go. I am. I wish that sticks doesn't fuck up to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was uncool. Thank you. Man. <laughs> How do you feel about that comment? Hurt. <laughs> Trepidatious. I heard you right here, sticks. It does. My heart's heart. beating now. I got pressure. <laughs> you're allowed. My birthday present to you is you're allowed to fuck up. <laughs> so, cool. so, Sticks, on the other hand, he's made a wish that you don't fuck up, so you're going to ask I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to play well. Oh, that's good, man. Me, I'm just going to do my thing because I'm amazing. That's my prayer. <laughs> <laughs> go band. Yeah, can, we, can, we go can we get a go band? Can we get a go band? Go band. Go band. Go band. Go band. Go band. Eat a candle. It's an edible candle. Chicken. Is it really edible? <laughs> No, it's not. No, is it? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Come on, it's his birthday. It's tasty though. Now it's just like chocolate. Well, of course it is like chocolate. It's like chocolate covered head. How does the wax taste? Does it taste like defeat? <laughs> <laughs> Filipinos are smart because you see what we do when we want to drink like well, whiskey and coke or rum and coke We just get the thing and we put some coke in right? right? But what the Filipinos do is they like they have one each right? So if you like you want to get a bit more liquor you go drink more and drink a bit less coke so if you, like, you want to soft the drink a little bit a lot of coke you mix the taste. It's DIY man That's punk rock 